So this question says two customers purchased the same kind of bread and eggs at a store. The first customer paid $12.45, or I'm sorry, it actually says paid $12.45 for one loaf of bread. I'm going to write that down. One loaf equals 12.45 and, and two dozen eggs. So it should actually be like this, two dozen eggs plus one loaf equals twelve forty five. The second customer paid nineteen dollars and forty two cents for four loaves, right? So three additional loaves and one dozen eggs. So half the amount of eggs got them to nineteen forty two. What is the cost in dollars of one dozen eggs? All right, so I hmm I am going to say that X represents one dozen eggs. Right? This is this looks like a system of equations, right? So let me just give you some insight on how I'm thinking about this. This is our translation. So this is a translate word problem question. Right? So we were able to read it and then translate what I have here in the bracket. But when I look at it, it looks like it's set up like a system of equations. So I want to have X and Y here instead of dozen of eggs and loaves of bread. So I'm going to say X equals one dozen of eggs, and I'm going to say Y equals one loaf. One loaf of bread. So that would mean that my first equation would turn into 2X plus Y equals 1245. And my second equation would turn into X plus 4Y equals 1942. Now writing it this way allows me to solve the question for one dozen eggs by solving for x, right? So I can use now a process called elimination. In order to solve for x here. Um, another way to do this is really to plug both of these into Desmos as well and find the point of intersection and find the x value of that point of intersection that will also give you the right answer here. So let's just do it here mathematically. So if I'm if I'm looking to solve for x, then I want to eliminate y, which means I multiply this first equation by negative 4 so that I have negative 8x minus 4y equals, let's go to my calculator and see what 12 for 12.45 times negative 4 is, it's negative 49.8. The second equation would stay the same at x plus 4y equals 19.42. And we can see why I decided to multiply by negative 4 is because now I can eliminate these fours here. I can el eliminate the y values, basically. So now when I add these two equations together, I get a negative 7x is equal to, let's go to my calculator again, negative 49.8 plus 19.42 is equal to negative 30.38. And then I can divide both sides by negative 7. So back in my calculator, divide by negative 7, and I get 434, right? So I get x is equal to 4.34. So there's my answer. So my answer here is choice D.